Hi guys, Dr. Sandra Lee here. You guys also know me as Dr. Pimple Popper. I'm ready to show you one of my exclusive pops. This pop has never been seen before. This is a young woman who traveled from a couple hours away to see me because she is a popaholic and she has watched my videos where I've removed cysts on the back before. And she has a cyst on her back. So it's a medium sized cyst, about a quarter size on her back. She's well aware of what to expect. She knows she's not gonna be in any pain or any discomfort. So she has a cyst here. It's gotten inflamed before. There is a little punct in there, a little opening. She should not feel anything other than my touching you here. I just, I did numb the area. I'm gonna take out that little punct in there. Epidermoid cysts, which is what this is, are benign growths that occur under the skin. It's kind of like a little balloon or a little sac that gets, a, of skin that gets turned under and it's, it's shedding within this sac. You make sure I'm not hurting you, okay? Mm -hmm. On top of the cyst, I can see a little bit of it right there. Usually when I take off the top of it, you can see where it is, where the punctum was, you know, like it exposes it right there, actually. Which means I need to take it all out. The skin on the back is usually famous for being very thick. So I'm gonna do a little squeeze here, okay? Gonna push against you, shouldn't hurt you or anything. dead skin cells get trapped in there and it gets a little wet in there or humid and so it's called macerated keratin that's in there. And you can sometimes squeeze things out. There's a little punctum or a little hole that sometimes you can squeeze stuff out. I don't advise that you do that. It will fill back up again as long as this little balloon is under there. So the point is if you want to really get rid of this uh, with more certainty, you want to excise it, which is what I'm doing here, surgical excision. It's been inflamed before, and that's why you kind of also hear that snipping sound. You know, it's like a little fibrous tissue too. That's under there. So we can always kind of see the space that it's in, and this doesn't really bleed because it's like fibrous tissue there. It's like all like kind of scar tissue right here. When there's a scar tissue underneath, I don't know if it ever kind of goes back to fully like the feeling like of normal skin. It might still always be a little bit firm. Because you imagine this, this kind of like tissue is underneath the skin that's like really kind of white and not really, not really a blood supply to it. You know, this whitish kind of scar tissue underneath there probably stays a little bit firm. This is a suture, see it like, it's like connected, mm -hmm. okay? All you have to do is lift one up and snip below that knot and then pull the other side up. Don't snip both knots because then it'll, you have a suture stuck under there. Oh, so you just one knot, it doesn't matter which one, you snip here and mm -hmm. then you pull the other side up. She does really well, no problems. It's really one of our standard but great cyst pops. 